Have you ever wondered what it might be like to be in a revolution as important as the Haitian Revolution? Today, on the Haitian Revolution with Devorah Schwartz, we will discuss the consequences of the Haitian Revolution, how it happened, and why it was so important in history. Haiti is an island in the Bahamas, and it was originally called San Domingue. It was also originally colonized by the Spanish, and they brought lots of cattle, which later became the main import and export of Haiti. In the early stages, Haiti produced 40% of the sugar and 50% of the coffee in the world. Haiti was one of the most valuable colonies the world had ever seen, and it had more than 40,000 slaves shipped in every year, which was right behind Brazil. Haiti also had four social classes that were created by the French. This included the Grand Blancs, or the wealthy white people, the Petit Blancs, the artisans and laborers, the free color people, the people who were slaves and became free and then later could own land if they wanted to, and the slaves who had basically nothing and no rights whatsoever and died sometimes within six months of arriving to the island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 1789, the French Revolution began, which sent shockwaves across the ocean to Haiti. Because of Doro Mac, each group in the four-tier social class pyramid interpreted their new statuses differently from the French Revolution. The Grand Blancs wanted to be treated like the Grand Blancs in France, who were controlling the trade in Haiti, which is how they made most of their money. The Petit Blancs wanted to be treated just like the Grand Blancs, and they wanted to have as much of a say and just as much respect as that of the Grand Blancs. The free colored people wanted to be treated economically and socially like the Grand Blancs, because after all, they could have been extremely wealthy and owned slaves themselves. Finally came the slaves, who wanted nothing more than to be free from their terrible masters. Whoa, you're back! Anyway, the Petit Blancs realized that they were getting closer and closer to becoming equals with the free colored people. The free colored people were assisting greatly in making Haiti more dominant in the Bahamas as they served in the militia, local forces, and owned land and slaves that created a more impactful economy. The Petit Blancs resented the privileges that the free colored people had and felt that they deserved much better. However, the slaves had been suffering the most this entire time of the French occupation and decided that they would revolt in 1789. This caused the Petit Blancs to react harshly because they felt that the slaves should remain slaves and the free colored people should not receive such privileges. Slaves back then were not considered people, so the Petit Blancs felt that they had no way, any reason, to give freedom. Basically, the French Revolution was one of the largest slave revolts in history, and one of the only successful ones at that. They used guerrilla warfare tactics that made the French militias useless despite their far superior training. A man named Toussaint Preda took control of the revolters and guided them throughout to win the battles and freedom from oppression. He was also a leader in freeing Haiti from French colonialism forever. trade restrictions, their debt, and their dependence on certain goods, today the revolution seems more or less. 